www.gwa.com. Hi, and welcome to another video from Granite and Marble Specialty. Today we're going to talk about how to measure your kitchen. A lot of folks call or they email asking, what do I do? How do I measure my counters? Do I need you to come out or is this something I can do? So, I'm going to show you some really simple tips, basic stuff. You'll be able to do this, no problem, I promise. Let's start with kind of an average size kitchen. A lot of you call in for, okay? Let's go over here and we'll do a little drawing. Many of you will have an L-shaped kitchen of some kind. So let's just draw that. So one leg up, one leg over. And we're gonna call this 110. We'll say this is 110 from back corner to back corner, okay? Most important numbers and then the width. I know we're gonna go 25 and a half because all kitchen boxes are 24 inches standard width and we like to add an inch and a half overhang so that your drawers are covered. Gives you a little more counter space. So, when you're measuring, you're going to take the length times the width. Now here, I draw a little box. That is not for a seam. That is to show what box I'm measuring. Think boxes, boxes, boxes. So here's my first box. Here's my second box. But I don't want to be charged for this, so you have to subtract this number. Remember, this width needs to come off of that number. So this really isn't 110. This is now 84 and a half from this point to the back of the wall. Okay? You also might have an island. So let's draw a little island here. Let's say that's 40 by 55, a good typical size. Let's also include where your refrigerator and your stove might be because we're gonna wanna know that down the road. So let's say right here is your refrigerator and down here is going to be your range. Just important things that we know. Let's talk about math, shall we? Now that we've got everything squared up into boxes, let's break that down on how this is gonna come out to be your square footage, okay? Now, again, as we're looking at boxes, I'm going to call the first run that we put up there box number one. So we know that box number one is 110 by 25.5. Here are your inches divided by 144 equals 1947. Some of you want to know where do we come up with 144 and why is that a magic number? The reason being is 12 inches by 12 inches equals 144. There creates our square foot equation. So. That's our magic number. And so as you see with box number one, we're at 1947. Box number two, which I've subtracted the width of the counter, that gives us 84.5 times 25.5. Again, your inches divided by 144. Here's your magic number. Let's say box number three is the island. That's right here. 40 by 55. Here's your inches. 15.27, giving you a grand total a 49.70, basically a 50 square foot kitchen, which is what a lot of our clients have, very common. So, very simple folks, you know the formula, but you may be saying, my shape of kitchen is not here. Let's talk about some other shapes and this will make more sense. So, many of you, when you're calling and are concerned because you may have other shapes that don't fit in what we've shown you. Maybe you don't have an L shape, maybe you have a curved piece or some angles. Now we deal with that every day, it's quite simple. Let's start with an island, okay? Many folks want a radius corner on your island. We love to do that, it looks very tailored. To calculate that, find the widest spot on the island in the center, and then basically we're going to draw this imaginary line out, and now you have a rectangle again. So you times width times length, divided by 144 and you're going to have your number. It's very simple. Now, many people get a little confused when you have this angle in the corner with a sink kind of facing out. Again, it's all about boxes. Think boxes. Take the long side and oh, remember how I told you? I just draw a little line. That's not a seam, it's just how I measure. So this is going to be one box and now I do the same here. This is going to be a box and to be safe, Anytime you have this triangle here, figure that's going to be about 1.5 square feet. So one and a half square feet, you add on top of these and you're done. Something a little more complicated. A lot of you have these three winged 
peninsulas or islands? Think boxes. Real simple. This is a box here. This is a box here. This is a box here. There's going to be some overlap, but once your template is remeasured after it's made, your numbers will be recalculated and most likely this number will go down. Backsplash. Very popular. A lot of folks want full backsplash. Very simple. Same formula. You measure from corner to corner and then height from the, the base or right where the counters start to the underside of your cabinet. Okay? Same formula. Height here times length divided by 144, you now have your square footage for full backsplash. And the same thing applies to four inch backsplash. Again, corner to corner, height versus width, you have your square footage. I promise there's nothing too complicated you can't do. And when you have these numbers, go back on our website, put them into our estimator, and we'll get you started. Thanks again and enjoy. Granite Marble, WA.com.